these niggas be on my d so bad. He watch me from a jail cell, man. When rapper NBA Youngboy isn't breaking records in the industry, then you can catch him beefing with rappers. The Baton Rouge rapper is forever ready to clap back at anyone who comes for him, whether it's on a diss track or in a drive-by shooting. In fact, there are so many times he has humiliated rappers he's beefed with, and we're going to show you some of that. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Time's NBA Youngboy humiliated rappers. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. NBA Youngboy vs Lil Durk NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk have always had it in for each other as they have continuously dissed each other on their songs and fans got a new chapter of the beef in January 2022 when they dissed each other back to back for three months straight. Lil Durk's fans weren't expecting him to partake in the beef as they were anticipating his new album, 7220, which was supposed to be released during that period but was pushed back until March 11th. Instead, Lil Durk dropped a new single named Aha that saw the rapper directly diss NBA Youngboy. In the first verse, Durk is heard saying, Acting like they really like that since my Brody died, Vaughn. Just got out the feds, you bring up murders with your police. The Lil Durk single also took a dig at young boy's ex-girlfriend, Janaya Michelle, who was romantically involved with King Vaughn. I warned Vaughn to stay away from that because she posts on OnlyFans, Durk rapped. Youngboy responded by dropping a diss track called I Hate Youngboy, where the rapper not only bashed Dirk, but also Dirk's ex-fiance, India Royale, Gucci Mane, and King Von. In the song, he also mentioned King Von's alleged murderer, Quando Rondo. Quando got no filter, and he say that they gone f with him. Clean up on aisle O, youngin let that chop blow. A, my brother let that stick blow. No, that's my smoke. He called me a that's India, that be your hoe. Quando got no filter, and he say that they gon' he rapped at the beginning of the diss track. Back in January 2022, Youngboy seemed to make a reference to King Von's death in his song Bring the Hook off his Colors mixtape. Youngboy rapped, This that squid game, old block pack get wrapped up, murder what they said, Atlanta dude get fold up. Youngboy had fun calling out and humiliating the entire industry. He dissed rappers like Boosie Badass, Lil Baby, and Gucci Mane and he went on to diss Apple Music. NBA Youngboy vs Kodak Fans never thought NBA Youngboy and Kodak could ever get into any beef, but it's the industry and things that are not expected to come up from time to time. When Kodak released his single Time Never Mattered, fans believed the rapper took a shot at NBA Youngboy when he said, but I hope I don't go broke again. Killing young babies, Kodak never broke again. You're a free agent. Neither Kodak nor NBA Youngboy ever talked about the song's lyrics, but in 2018, when Kodak was locked up, Quando Rondo and his gang burnt some Sniper Gang merch that Kodak had sent them. The audio from the video could be heard clearly as Quando was heard saying he didn't want to be in that stuff, the Sniper Gang merch, and they were on some NBA sh Quando also added that people should hop on some real deal, like being associated with NBA Youngboy. Kodak gang members responded almost immediately as they also recorded themselves in a video where they burned one of NBA Youngboy's merch. The two rappers couldn't respond to each other directly, as they kept getting locked up during that time. But in 2020, when they had the chance to take it out on each other, Kodak came at NBA Youngboy. He couldn't hold his anger back when he heard NBA Youngboy cooperated with the police after Yaya Mayweather stabbed one of the mothers of his children. Kodak claimed NBA Youngboy wasn't supposed to tell on her. NBA Youngboy instantly responded through a live video and said, He's watching me from a jail cell and be on my so bad. be on my so bad. He watched me from a jail cell, man. NBA further talked about how Kodak writes to DJ Academics about him and how he told him to post shit about him. The rapper concluded this live video as he said, Ain't never paid attention to no especially from cell. NBA Youngboy said he was not ready to have Yaya Mayweather's back and there's nothing Kodak could do about it from the cell he was locked up in. The two rappers have continued to hurl insults at each other, but based on the media reaction, NBA Youngboy definitely won that particular round. NBA Youngboy vs Fredo Bang Fredo Bang had it coming after he decided to use NBA Youngboy to chase clap, and everyone knows NBA Youngboy is not the type to let things slide. Back in August 2020, 
NBA Youngboy informed his fans he would release his then-new studio album on September 11, 2020, and his fans were all gassed up as they waited for the release. But Fredo Bang also went on to say he planned on releasing his album the same day. NBA Youngboy didn't respond to it until Fredo Bang went and wrote in his Instagram story, Guess me and my son dropping together. Maybe NBA Youngboy had planned to let this one slide, but changed his mind after he saw that post. The rapper went on to diss Fredo's dead partners, and even his mother. The rapper posted a video where he said, Hey, hey, you a bum, you Bo dig all three of your brothers up, you scary a Ain't in no competition with you. NBA Youngboy still went on and told Fredo not to write to him as he was no killer and he should stop trying so hard to be like him. The 23-year-old rapper went as far as telling Fredo Bang he could his mother and that Fredo was a pure Go f your mama, you gonna try to f your mama, you a f Fredo Bang later responded to NBA Youngboy with a video where he said, NBA Youngboy didn't have to take it that far, since he was just trying to say he was going to sell more albums than NBA Youngboy. But unfortunately for Fredo, NBA Youngboy beat him hands down as his album sold way better than his album. Fredo Bang has not been seen or heard in any way trying to diss NBA Youngboy since that incident. Guess he learned the hard way that NBA Youngboy is not to be messed with. NBA Youngboy vs. G Money NBA Youngboy was unable to do much while he was in his former group as he rarely got their support for his songs and was not even gifted the normal TBG Top Boy Gorilla chain as a member of the gang. So the rapper went on and created his group, named NBA, Never Broke Again. NBA Youngboy dissed G Money, who was one of the members of the TBG group as he claimed he used to see him as a brother and also talked about how G Money got involved with his sister. G Money responded to NBA Youngboy in an interview and said he let fame get to his head because he didn't have an issue with him being involved with his sister when things were smooth between them. A month after the interview, G Money got shot after he had just finished recording at the studio, and Youngboy didn't hesitate to put it in one of his tracks. The rapper claimed G Money wasn't smart about his movement and how he had previously talked bad about him, but he is now the one in the dirt. The beef couldn't go on after NBA Youngboy's diss track because G Money died due to the gunshot, which led to NBA Youngboy being able to add another win to his list. Do you think any of these rappers got what they deserved as they started the beef? And how do you feel about the way NBA Youngboy responded to them? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.